If you've seen Nux3, one of the biggest DX features is auto imports, which allows us to write code without explicitly having to import modules from libraries or other files. But this functionality isn't limited to just Nux projects. In this video, we'll take a look at two libraries that we can use to roll our own auto import functionality in a view app. Unplugin Auto Import allows us to auto import APIs like Views APIs. Unplugin View Components allows us to auto import view components that we write or even coming from third party libraries. So let's go ahead and install both of these libraries, and now we can start configuring things. I'm going to show this in V but both libraries have support for other build tools and frameworks. Let's first take a look at Unplug and Auto Import, which is a user-friendly wrapper around the more low-level package Unimport which is what actually handles the auto-importing functionality and is also what powers Nux's auto-import system. In terms of configuration, we first have to define what imports we want to have available throughout our project. So once we import it inside of our config, we can put auto-import inside of our plugins and under the imports property, we can specify what packages we want to import from and what name modules to auto-import. Then when we want to use ref in something like a component or a composable, auto-import will use this import statement to determine what ref comes from. For popular packages like Vue, Vtest, Pina, and others, we can access a ton of different presets that define the key imports for us. The most relevant one for view devs is the view preset, which will import views APIs without us having to specify each individual import. And another cool thing is that if we need an alias import to avoid naming conflicts, for example, we can pass two values for an import, which will act like this code. And at its core, this is really all we need for getting auto imports working in our project. We choose the packages and imports, and then just write code. It's nice and quick to get set up. Now let's take a look at some of the configurations that makes this even more dev friendly. First, if we have TypeScript installed locally, or if we set DTS to true, auto import will generate a type declaration file. Then we can add this file into our TS config and have type support for all of our auto imports. And not only is this useful for the TypeScript support, but it also lets us see what's being auto imported in our project. For example, with ours and the view preset, we can see things like ref, all the lifecycle hooks, computed, and more. And with auto import, we're not limited to just third party libraries. For example, let's say we had a simple use counter composable that we wanted to make available throughout our project. Or in fact, let's say we wanted to do this with all of our composables. Inside of our config, we can specify a property called DERS and then give it an array of paths that we want to scan for different modules. And if we check our auto imports.d.ts, we can see that auto import is finding our use counter composable inside of our composables folder and making it globally available. So now inside of app.view, for example, we can use this composable without any imports. So while this is great for working with third-party libraries, composables, utilities, and APIs like that, for components, we have to use a separate but similar library, Unplug and View Components. So let's take a look at that. But first, I want to say thanks to the sponsor of this video, Storyblock. Storyblock is a headless CMS that I just love working with. Even though its API works with any tech stack, I've made a few videos on using it in both Nux3 and Astro, and I love how plugged in they are with the Vue community, creating Vue plugins, Nux plugins, and a ton of things that make it really easy to build Vue components and then directly build and edit pages with these components inside of a really sleek visual editor. This makes it so non-technical people can use your custom components really simply. It's super extensible and a great experience both on the tech technical side and the content side, so I highly recommend checking them out and show them some love for supporting the channel. All right, let's get back to the video. Unplug and View Components works very similarly to what we saw before. We want to import components from Unplug and View Components V, add it as a plugin, and then we have some pretty similar options. We can choose what directories we want to pull components from, and we can also get our type declaration file with DTS. So let's say inside of our source components folder, we have a social card in our base folder and also an atoms folder that contains a button component. Since we're scanning source components to be auto imported, if we go to our type declaration file, we can see both our button and our social card being accessed by unplug and view components. And if we go to view component in our app, we can use these right away in our template without any imports. And since we set up our type declaration file, we can add it to our TS config and then have type checking on our props. So these two libraries should be enough to get started with auto imports with your view app. If you want to learn more, I'll leave links to both of the repos down below so you can take a full look of all the different options that you're going to have for these libraries. I hope this video helps. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.